Treasure Islands, Tax Havens and the Men Who Stole the World by Nicholas Shaxon, is an eye-opening expose of the world's tax havens and the individuals and corporations that exploit them. The book meticulously documents how these offshore financial centers, often tiny island nations with no connection to the global economy, have become the preferred destinations for trillions of dollars in illicit and legitimate wealth. Jackson argues that tax havens are not merely a symptom of LAX regulation, but rather a deliberate strategy employed by powerful interests to avoid paying their fair share of taxes and undermine the rule of law. The book begins by defining tax havens and explaining their history. Jackson notes that tax havens have existed since ancient times, when wealthy individuals would hide their wealth in temples or bury it in the ground. In more recent history the Netherlands and Switzerland emerged as major tax havens during the 17th and 18th centuries respectively. However it was not until the 20th century that tax havens truly proliferated, fueled by the rise of international finance and the decline of empires. One of the key factors driving the growth of tax havens is the globalization of finance. As countries around the world deregulated their financial sectors and opened up their markets to foreign investment, capital began to flow freely across borders. This created new opportunities for tax avoidance, as multinational corporations and wealthy individuals could shift their income to low-tax or no-tax jurisdictions. Tax havens also benefited from the decline of empires, as former colonies became independent and sought to attract foreign investment by offering low tax rates and LAX regulation. Shaxon devotes a significant portion of the book to profiling some of the world's most notorious tax havens, including the Cayman Islands, Bermuda, Luxembourg, and Switzerland. He describes how these jurisdictions have evolved over time, adopting various legal and regulatory structures to remain attractive to investors. For example, the Cayman Islands, a British overseas territory, has no income tax, no corporate tax, and no capital gains tax. Instead, it relies on fees generated by its offshore financial industry. Bermuda, another British territory, has a similar tax regime but has also developed a robust insurance sector. Luxembourg, long known as the banking capital of Europe, has built its reputation on bank secrecy laws and low tax rates. And Switzerland, perhaps the most famous tax haven of all, has a long history of banking secrecy and a highly developed financial services industry. One of the most insidious aspects of tax havens, according to Shaxon, is their ability to facilitate money laundering and other forms of criminal activity. He provides numerous examples of how organized crime syndicates, corrupt politicians, and terrorist organizations have used tax havens to hide their ill-gotten gains and launder money. For instance, he describes how the Russian mafia used shell companies in Cyprus to launder billions of dollars stolen during the collapse of the Soviet Union. He also discusses how tax havens have been used to finance terrorist organizations like Al-Qaeda and Hamas. The book also highlights the role of tax havens in facilitating tax evasion by wealthy individuals and multinational corporations. Shaxon provides numerous examples of high-profile individuals, including former U.S. President Richard Nixon, former British Prime Minister David Cameron, and former Icelandic Prime Minister Sigmundur David Gunnlaugsson, who have used tax havens to minimize their tax liabilities. He also discusses the widespread use of tax havens by multinational corporations, which often shift profits to low-tax jurisdictions through complex financial structures known as transfer pricing and inversion deals. This practice not only deprives governments of much-needed tax revenue, but also undermines the competitiveness of businesses that play by the rules. In addition to profiling tax havens and their users, Shaxon also examines the various efforts that have been made to combat tax evasion and money laundering. These include international agreements like the Financial Action Task Force, BATF, and the OECD's Base Erosion and Profit Shifting, BEPS, project, as well as domestic measures such as the Foreign Account Tax Compliance Act, FATCA, in the United States and the Common Reporting Standard, CRS implemented by the UICD. D. However, Shaxon argues that these efforts have been largely ineffective due to a lack of political will and the ability of tax havens to remain one step ahead of regulators through constant innovation in the world of offshore finance. One of the most controversial aspects of tax havens discussed in the book is the role played by major financial institutions. Shaxon alleges that many of the world's largest banks, including HSBC, UBS and Credit Suisse, have knowingly facilitated tax evasion and money laundering through their offshore operations. He provides extensive evidence of these activities, 
drawing on leaked documents and whistleblower testimony. For instance, he describes how HSBC's Swiss division helped wealthy clients hide billions of dollars from tax authorities, despite being aware of the illegal nature of their activities. The book also explores the impact of tax havens on developing countries, which often lack the resources to compete with wealthy nations in the global economy. Jackson argues that tax havens siphon off much-needed capital from these countries, depriving them of vital resources for investment in infrastructure, education and healthcare. He cites numerous examples of how tax havens have contributed to poverty and inequality in developing countries, including the use of offshore financial centers by corrupt leaders to hide stolen wealth from their own people. In conclusion, Treasure Islands, Tax Havens and the Men Who Stole the World provides a comprehensive and damning indictment of the global tax haven industry. Through meticulous research and compelling storytelling, Nicholas Shackson reveals how tax havens have evolved over time, the various ways they are used by criminals and legitimate actors alike, and the devastating impact they have on economies and societies around the world. The book serves as a clarion call for urgent action to address this pervasive and pernicious threat to global financial stability and the rule of law.